Hey everyone, this is Daniel, and today I want to talk about this really powerful app uh, that I've built, which is just one of the many scenarios where if you have an idea or if you've seen something which is appealing, you can actually rebuild that or recreate that in Microsoft Power Apps. And that's really the beauty of this powerful tool that's available where you can build no-code solutions in, in such a short amount of time. So before I actually demo this to you, let me go back and give you a little bit of a history on where this idea came from. Um, so I follow Philip uh, on Twitter, and at one time he posted this tweet, which actually comes from Science Channel, of uh, the circle of dots. So let me show you that. And basically that's what it is. These are dots that are, they look like they're moving in a circular fashion, uh, but there's actually just moving around a straight line over here. Um, so when I saw this for the first time, um, I actually said, hmm, I wonder if we can create that in Power Apps. Uh, and I tried to seek some advice from both Paul and Ashley, who are two people that I have such high respect for, especially a, a young person like Ashley, who at such a young age can do some amazing thing with Power Apps. And Paul, well, everybody knows Paul. Um, so when I was seeking the advice, they were both a little busy at that time. So I said, okay, I'll take this challenge upon myself. And so once again, let's just go back in and let's look at this GIF over here, which was built, and it looks pretty good. So now let me show you what I built on my Power App. So here it is. Um, I've gone ahead and built this, uh, and I'll be posting an article um, about this on the uh, Power Apps Technet um, uh, community over there. Uh, so you will even have a copy of this. But here's here's what I did. So let me just make sure I reset it, and I'm going to start. And all of these dots are behaving in the same fashion. But this is Power App, so this gives me the flexibility to take it to a whole different level. So what I was able to do was I was able to actually keep the coordinates of the X and Y available over here for your viewing. Um, I was able to also hide the dots so you can actually see how all of this functions. So let me just give you an example on that. Um, right now I have the radio button 1, which is for the first dot that's selected that's why you can see that this one's going up and down and as you can see that only the Y coordinates are changing which is why these numbers are going crazy over here but the X cut coordinate is steady. Um, let's do a switch so we have um, one, two, three, four, five. So the fifth one where the X coordinate should go crazy but the Y should remain the same. So let's do that. I'm going to click on the fifth radio button here and that's exactly what happened. First the dots color changed Second, you can see that the Y coordinates are steady, for obvious reasons, and now the X coordinates are all going crazy. And now I can do that for every one of them. See, in, in, in this line over here, I should see both the X and the Y coordinates go you know, really crazy over here. So that's exactly what's happening. Now we can see that this uh, dot over here is just moving in this fashion. Um, even though from a visual perspective, you still see the circular motion over here, but they're actually all just moving in a straight line. I can take it even to the next level where I just want to see that one dot over here. And since that's dot number two, let me go ahead and hide all the other ones. There you go. Now I can just see that dot over here. Um, I can go ahead and bring all the other ones back. And that helps. Um, I can pick any other dot. If I'm interested to see what the coordinates are happening, I can say bring it to the eighth one. And now the eighth one over eight dot is color has changed and you can see how its coordinates happen. Well, that's that's just not it because once when I was playing with it, um, I had to build the formulas um, to figure out exactly how this is going to happen. I had to even tweak around with the uh, the timing delay. And as I was tweaking around, I actually came up with some really groovy um, designs. So that's, I just said, well, I'm going to add those designs over here. So the first one was when I added a little bit of um, delay, this is what I got. Um, in, in fact, in this case, I didn't even put any delay. I just made sure that all of them kind of expanded and it contracted at the same time. And that's what it is. See, so here you can also see how everything is going. But, but the first dot, its um, X coordinate should be the same way. Next one is when I was still tweaking, trying to get the exact time delay, I actually came to this design. That's what it was. And it actually has a really nice uh, look and feel to it. So I thought I'll, I'll keep this as a design demo over here. And then finally there was this one, which, which had an extensive time lag. But I like the way it, it looks and feels because um, 
you can see that it does look it's it's a controlled chaos is what I like to call it because it's it's all moving in a very periodic fashion um, and, and again in the same case I can pick and choose whichever ones I want to see uh, for the coordinates I can go ahead and hide unhide them hide them all and just focus on the ones that I want to see so it you know it was it was fun building this um, it took me about a week to kind of figure out um, how to build this as I spent some time um, off and on on this uh, the coordinates um, and the, the formulas took a little bit of time but um, it was really fun but the bottom line is this is the beauty of power apps because now um, thanks to the power apps I'm able to pretty much recreate uh, so many of these things which are going on and uh, just you know if you have an idea you can rebuild that in power apps and that's what I love about it so take a look at it I want to do a side-by-side -side comparison this is just a gif over here which I came across randomly had the idea I was able to rebuild it in power apps and take it to a whole new level so in the end here's just a passing thought imagine if there are school teachers who had access to such these tools where now not only are they able to teach their students about the beauty of such trigonometric functions and how just coordinates can actually give this type of um, rotational format but also give them the functionality to actually teach the students in a much more entertaining and an educational fashion so I'm just a big fan of power apps and once again you see an idea and you can rebuild that in power apps thanks guys